Hey y'all, and how are you doing? I want to present you a tool that I've been working on, uh, which is called JIT.SpriteSheetSlicer. It is actually a JS UI object, and what it does is to get an image, for example a sprite sheet, so a collection of little images in a single image file, and cuts them into single image files or matrices, or both. Let's take for example this image. This is just a PNG image, looks like this, and if I drag and drop it inside the drop file here, it will be loaded in the object. Let's try for example with another one. It looks like this. Let's go back to the previous one. Great. Now this image file, um, it's just a single file, right? It's not subdivided into the single images. So if we want to use those single images, we have to cut them into single files, as for example is done in Unity and other software that work with sprite sheets. So this object does exactly that. It allows you to take one, one sprite sheet image, or basically every other image you want really, and then cut it into smaller rectangular images. In this case, they are squares. So now I'm gonna show you how this works. So I've loaded this image into the drop file object right here with the message load the sprite sheet. It's loaded into the object. I can resize it, make it bigger or smaller. And once I'm satisfied, I can start to slice this image into smaller images. And to do that, I have to say, what is the slice area that I want? So for example, I could get a bigger slice area. So the slice area, as you probably got, is represented by these red uh, rectangles. So um, I know, because sometimes when you, when you don't load a sprite sheet, the author of the sprite sheet will tell you how big is each sprite. So in this case, I know they are all squares of 32 pixels per side, and that it is also a, a bit of distance between the single squares. So for example, between the square number one and square number two, you can see that actually there is a bit of space. And this I can decide with the padding. So for example, I decided to have a padding of six. Now, I could even have an offset in order to move um, the position of the squares, but uh, this we don't need actually for the moment in, this, in the case of this image. For other images, maybe yes, but not now. Good, so now I'm satisfied uh, with how the sprites are sliced. Now what I'm going to do is to slice the sprites. So I'm going to click here, slice sprites. So now that I click on slice sprites, you can see that it has created 77 sprites, and these sprites are matrices inside the object. They are stored as matrices inside the object. Now, if I want to output them, I can send the message output sprite followed by the index of this matrix. Since we found 77, I'm just going to cycle through all those 77 matrices. Um, actually, if you enlarge this a bit, you can see another uh, little uh, representation appearing here, which represents the matrix being currently output. So, um, as you can see, there are a lot of empty spaces here because this image file actually is, uh, contains some images only mostly on the left side. But nevertheless, all these uh, spaces are being sliced as matrices. But if we click here on the message ignore zero alpha sprites and we set it to one, and then I go slice sprites, now you can see that it only found 29 sprites. So it ignored, so cut out all the sprites where the alpha is zero for the wall um, area that we sliced. So now we only got the um, sprites that we are interested in, only the parts where there is the character. So cool. Um, as you can see, you can either output them as single matrices, just like that, or we can also send them all out as a list of matrix names. So for example, for a, a matrix set object, or we can also export them into our computer. So if I go export sprites and then I give it a location on my computer, uh, and then I go check this folder, uh, you can see that it just created all those images and they're just uh, separated into the single um, character sprites. Okay, which you can then use to do uh, whatever you want. For example, here I made a little uh, use case. So basically by using, uh, by sending this list into an um, iter object, I send it into a matrix set, and then we can, uh, we have it this in max as a list of matrices inside the matrix set object. Instead of using a matrix set, we could uh, directly use sp the sprite sheet slicer object and just output them using the output sprite message but it's also good to have them directly inside matrix set. So here we can see our character that is being animated. 
Let's make another sample. Um, I will take one little sprite sheet from my buddy Andrea Spontoni. And for example, let's get uh, this elf 16 by 16. Right, so it tells you in the name of the file that this is 16 by 16. So I will just set the slice area to 16 and I will set the padding to zero. So now we can see that they have been sliced exactly into 16 pixels by 16 pixels. There is no space. Great, I go slice sprites. I output the, the list and we know that these are six sprites. So I'm going to adapt my little example here. And now you can see that there is this little elf, uh, uh, little uh, Santa Claus elf, uh, which is animated. Of course, we could also just visualize it um, here, output the matrix. And as I said before, there is this bonus thing that if you enlarge it a bit on the right side, you will see this uh, um, image representation of the sprite currently being output from the object. Now I want to export those as well, so I click here, export sprites into the sprite folder, and there they are, they have been cut into single um, image files. So that's it. Um, if you work with sprites, or you would like to work in 2D in Max with sprites, that's basically the object for you. This is just the first of a series of tools I plan to develop. Uh, for working with 2D in uh, Jitter. So at the moment, I really need to have some testers for this thing. So please, if you would like to, uh, to give me some feedback on it, also on bug reporting and so on, it will be really great. You can just grab it from my GitHub. So you go into github.com, fedfod, repositories, and there is exactly here, Sprite Sheet Slicer is a public repository. Um, it's organized as a package. So you can just download it by going here into code, uh, download zip, unzip, unzip it into your package folder inside documents, max8 packages. And then once it's there, it's inside the max search path and you can create it by uh, writing inside an empty object, JIT sprite sheet slicer. And then you just um, open its help file, which is this patch here, which is this one that we have been seeing until now. So yeah, it would be really great to receive some feedback on this thing. Um, what you would also like to see as further development for this object or um, other objects to work in 2D with sprites and images in Max, this would be really great. And if you have a question also now I develop this thing, um, questions are always welcome. So thank you very much. I really looking forward to hear from you. Um, you can always get in touch with me either on GitHub or on Discord, on the Max Discord uh, page. Or you can write me an old good email, you can uh, contact me on Facebook, so there are thousands away. Um, thank you very much again, and see you soon with some new content. Ciao.